want to talk to you about one of the most important philosophies that I learned from one of my good mentors many, many years ago that had such a dramatic impact on my life. I could have stayed struggling, living check to check as a real estate agent, getting paid on a linear basis, but instead I learned the slight edge philosophies that I implemented into my life and I became a multi, 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 multi millionaire. One brick at a time, building my empire one brick at a time using the slight edge philosophies. So what I'm gonna share with you today is what the slight edge looks like so you can identify what you are doing in your life. Because this is your life, we all have our starting point, and over time, we are either practicing the proper disciplines or we are exercising errors in judgment with how we are utilizing our time. So up here, these are the disciplines. And below this line are the errors in judgment. Now understand, and I want to use a different marker so you can actually see this in color, okay? We all have the same 24 hours in a day. We all have the ability, the power to choose. Free will. Free will causes some people to become wealthy. The same free will that God gave us all causes some people to struggle in perpetuity. Like they will never stop struggling because they're not making the proper slight edge decisions. Because every single day we are making countless, like thousands of decisions. What channel do I want to watch on TV? What kind of nutrients do I want to put into my body? Do I want to eat healthy food or junk food? Do I want to eat a banana or uh, eat a Big Mac, right? So these are decisions we have to make. And life is a series of just countless decisions, countless decisions, countless decisions, countless decisions. And here's the thing. You might decide today that you're not going to worry about, hey, having a Big Mac, it ain't going to kill me. Look, if somebody in front of you in line at McDonald's ordered a Big Mac, took it over to the table, ate it, and died of a heart attack, you would say, you know what? Oh my gosh, I will never eat a Big Mac. But because you don't see it happen immediately, the, immediate, uh, the, the immediacy of the effect is not, is not visible. It's the compounding effect that you don't see, but it actually it is working on you. It is working on you. It is working on you. For example, instead of eating the Big Mac, if, if, uh, if you ate a banana or you ate some good fish or you ate some healthy food, if suddenly you became like, uh, like a superhero, like you became healthy and vibrant and energized and, and, and muscular, then you'd probably say, I want to eat more of that. But because you eat a good meal, you, it doesn't make you immediately a healthier, vibrant person. Again, whether it's positive or negative. The simple act of doing it does not create immediacy. And we live in an immediate gratification society. We are all, uh, we're, we're programmed. We're conditioned to want everything immediately. We want it yesterday. So here's what happens. If you're doing the disciplines or you're doing the errors in judgment in the act of doing them, you don't see any effect. But over time, over time, it's gonna, it's gonna look like this. Keep doing the discipline, 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 this, and all of a sudden, your life goes up in a positive direction. Whereas instead, if you're doing the errors in judgment, eating bad, watching TV, not being productive, not taking care of yourself, guess what? Eventually, it takes you to a negative result. So if you want a positive or negative result, you have to understand it's not going it, to, there's a, the quantum leap myth that Jeff Olson talks about in the slight edge. The quantum leap, le, the quantum leap everybody's looking for, like the lottery ticket. Hey, look, I want to get rich. So I need to go buy a lottery ticket. That's the only way I can get it. I need a shortcut because I'm not willing to do the simple disciplines, making the phone call, building my business over and over and over and over again, because I don't see results quick enough. So people want a quantum leap. I talk to people in my business all the time. I'm like, hey, look, if you just go get two prospects a day to see your opportunity presentation, that will lead you over time to a positive result, to building your business, to building your wealth. 
But instead of people doing their two a day, they say, well, uh, I don't feel like doing it today. I'm just gonna watch a little YouTube videos. I'm gonna go on Facebook and scroll. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna just do other stuff. They're practicing the simple errors in judgment. And over time, at the beginning, in the first week, month, or year, it doesn't seem like it's killing you. But over time, it takes you to failure. So you do the right simple disciplines. Over time, it takes you to massive success. The simple errors in judgment, compounding over time. Again, you, you skip doing your two exposures today. I don't feel like it. I'll do four tomorrow. That is a recipe for disaster because you are putting in place a habit of making the errors in judgment that over time will take you to your ultimate failure and struggle. So hopefully you're understanding why it is that some people, for example, I'm in network marketing, okay? Network marketing, it's, uh, it's a volunteer business. You know, there's no boss, there's no set hours, there's no quotas, there's nobody demanding, if you don't do this, we're gonna take your income away. There's no salary, there's no paycheck. So nobody can, nobody can make you do anything. So not only can nobody make you do anything, but you can't make your team do anything. So how do you get an army of part-time um, entrepreneurs that you have no control over, uh, you can't dictate or boss them around, you can't make them do anything, how do you get them to go build their business? How do you get them to go out there and practice the simple disciplines so they can become successful? I would submit to you that you lead by example. If you do two new prospecting exposures a day, if you're doing the IPA, I call this IPA, or versus the uh, enter, uh, ENT, entertainment, Look, are you spending your time being entertained? Or are you spending your time doing income producing activity? Because we all have a choice. And we are all governed by the law of the slight edge. So why did I become very, very successful in my business? And why did I make tens of millions of dollars? Because I was dedicated. I was obsessed with doing the income producing activity. Even on the days where I felt like it was not getting anything, any results. Matter of fact, many days I didn't get results. See, in the act of doing them, a lot of days I, I, got, I got all no's. I got all no's. I got all no's day after day after day. But I kept on doing the activity over and over and over and over and over again. And I went through the no's. I found the yeses. And I went through the no's and found more yeses. And I helped to tap root through those yeses to help them find some people. And the business grew and grew and grew. Whereas I watched so many people. They got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven no's. They're out. Eight, nine, ten nose out. You know, it's just a matter of time till a typical person who does not have a backbone and a resolve to go out there and accomplish their why for starting their business in the first place, they let these errors in judgment take over and they ultimately fail in their business. And when you fail in your business and you had a reason why you needed to do it, you basically fail in life. So this just not, the slight edge is not just applicable to business. It's applicable to health and fitness. If you're going to the gym or not going to the gym, if you're eating healthy or eating, eating fast food, right? It happens, it has to do with spirituality. If you're practicing your faith, you're going to church, or if you're not, if you're spending time nurturing your relationships or neglecting your relationships, everything in life is governed by this light edge. So I would encourage you to really sit there today for a few minutes and think about what am I doing with my time? What are my actions serving? Are they serving my success, successful business, successful relationships, successful spirituality, or are they serving me in a negative way? Am I failing in these areas of my life? The Slight Edge by Jeff Olson is one of my favorite books because I practiced The Slight Edge 25, 20, 15, 10 years ago. And a Slight Edge, it's not about just going out and doing the right things for a while and then stopping. Once you actually learn the slight edge, you start subconsciously, unconsciously applying it in your life. It becomes a habit. You start to become addicted to doing the right things, to be able to see success in all the different areas of your life. So, but I'm going to speak to you all as my fellow entrepreneurs, my fellow network marketers. Make sure that you make a decision that you are going to start 
doing the income producing activity. Because if you do it, then you can be a great example for your team to copy what you're doing. There's an old saying, I'd rather watch a leader than to listen to one any day. And if you want to build your empire, if you want money to flow to the leader, which it does, if you, uh, if you want your vision to inspire you, if you want residual income, and if you believe that the freedom, that your freedom is worth the grind, be willing to do the grind. Be willing to do the simple disciplines when others are not doing it. It's not convenient, but it's worth it. I'll see you in a very successful life because you're now a believer of the slight edge.